uh, this award means a lot to me because Professor Zhang Jiuzhang uh, was a, a major figure in, in space science in, in astronomy. Um, in fact, he was the founder of the National Space Science Center in Beijing. And uh, I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, uh, this award was established uh, uh, about 10 years ago and when China was just embarking on this uh, lunar mission. Uh, and now after 10 years or so, you know, you can see that how successful it has become. And this is a major advancement uh, for, for the Chinese uh, scientific community. So I think everybody should be very pleased and proud of that. And for that, I think this uh, Zhao Jizhang medal uh, means that uh, the upgrade is important for me, to me. And then the other thing, of course, is that I am now uh, working in Taiwan at the Central, uh, National Central University. Uh, so I, uh, I hope very much that uh, we could uh, uh, embarking on uh, closer cooperation um, in uh, across uh, China and Taiwan, and of course uh, on the basis of international cooperation, because the space uh, uh, science is an international uh, enterprise as uh, earmarked by by COSPA. So I think that the the all this, you know, with the Coast Pass and Zhang uh, Jiuzhang Medal uh, indeed means a lot, quite a lot for, to me. Thank you. It uh, uh, has to do, you know, with my, of course, uh, the development of my academic career. Uh, I think the, we are going to divide it into several phases, if I may say stages. Uh, first, of course, when I was young, you know, at graduate school, where I, I learned a lot, you know, because I knew nothing you know, about space science at the time I was taught. You know, so I, I think it was a glorious uh, time. At, uh, in my department at UC San Diego, we have a tremendous amount of, of you know, resources, in particular in terms of uh, the, the intellectual capacity. We have uh, Professor in the extra, was Hans and Wayne. We have uh, Julius uh, Feyer and uh, all the uh, famous, you know, I would say, pioneer in space science and atmospheric science. And then the uh, the second phase uh, must be uh, when I went to to Germany uh, to work at the Max Planck Institute. And at that time, I think the, the for senior scientists in the audience will have remembered that there was the time when when ESA was just uh, developing the Planetary Science program. So I was very lucky enough you know, to participate in some of the early investigation, uh, even uh, uh, proposing of the, some of the uh, uh, major missions like, like Cassini uh, to Saturn or, or to the, you know, the, the Comet Lander uh, uh, mission uh, now has uh, become the have become the Rosetta mission. So that all happened uh, when I was uh, working at the Mass Institute. Uh, then, then uh, in 1998, I returned to Taiwan uh, until now. And then the, in that period, then I am um, I become a, a teacher you know, to to teach uh, students uh, to to educate to train the next generations. Uh, and the uh, and the and now that you know, I have also participated uh, more in terms of uh, science education. So when I say that there are basically four four phases, you know, but along the along the uh, four stages, um, I have developed uh, uh, other close uh, cooperation with my Chinese colleagues. Uh, and uh, when we were all young, and and some of us are now. Other senior, but still, you know, uh, we are all very close, still working very closely. So I am very happy to to see some of them here. Coastal, you know, was established originally to uh, to 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 bring uh, top scientists from different uh, societies from different parts of society uh, together to talk about science. So it's a, it's a, it's a, a very uh, uh, important platform. Uh, and that spirit has been kept uh, uh, from the beginning until now, even though the, 
the, uh, the major players uh, have changed from time to time. The, uh, for me, you know, uh, I participate in COSPA, I think most actively when I was working in Germany, when I was at the Max Planck Institute, uh, as I said, there was a time where there were a lot of discussion uh, among the among the space scientists, you know, the young men, you know, uh, between uh, I mean uh, Europe and America, uh, they basically NASA and ESA talking about joint cooperation. So uh, the uh, I went to I went to every, you know each coast guard meeting for 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 almost 10, 10 15 years. Uh, and I also, I was even uh, served in the, in the division, I think Division D, I guess Division B, uh, and then the, uh, uh, under the, uh, the leadership of uh, Professor Ian Extra, he was then the president, and then also Professor uh, Guy Harendel. Yeah. And uh, I remember also Professor uh, Lo Jay Bonet, you know, uh, subsequently was the, was the Coast Guard president. And all did a fantastic job and they contributed greatly. Uh, so I think that the, using me as an example, I think that the Coast Bar, uh, participate in Coast Bar, uh, in the as a platform for, for free discussions, uh, have been uh, very vital in, 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 my, in my career. Very good question, uh, because now you ask me, you know. I would uh, immediately came in my mind uh, that uh, one, one thing that my professor Hannah Selwyn uh, tend to scream at me uh, from time to time and uh, he will always say that you're doing too many things, you know, you don't concentrate, you will never succeed. <laughs> and uh, so I still hear his voice in my ears uh, ringing from time to time. Yeah, indeed. Uh, the, I think that if I, I have uh, I, I have the chance to, to to work, you know, uh, again, you know, uh, uh, start from, from from the from the youth, my youth, I probably would would hit the uh, Hannah's uh, advice more. <laughs> I should uh, focus on some important things, you know, uh, to work on it. Uh, um, right, if you are interested to do so. And work on it, and um, and uh, don't matter how, even though if there are, there are difficulties, you know. Uh, but imagine that research is to us for troubles. So uh, the so I would say that you know. In fact, now from that time on time, I will also tell my younger colleagues or students, you know, uh, you should focus more, you know, because the reason being that um, for things that you're interested, you always think that you don't have enough uh, time to do. A good job. So if you are really on the right track, you, know, you should really spend all the time on trying to you know, make it make it work. So there's something. Of course, this is a uh, ideal speaking. You know, uh, there are so many interesting things to do. Um, the other things that I say that to the, the young people today is that um, uh, you got uh, uh, my time and, and their time now. A uh, very different uh, time. Uh, in my time, uh, everything well, so so new. You know, uh, if, uh, we have so many unknowns, uh, big questions. And now that uh, there are still today, there are still big questions, but there are so many known facts. Uh, so many uh, uh, signs are already mature. So it's hard to to decide where to go, and also to say how to use a finite amount of time to. To obtain the, you know, the, the the best results, so that is the uh, so there are there are trade off, you know. But today they're so it's so easy to get information. In the old days we don't uh, the yeah, and uh, the but then the main thing still is uh, uh, we should uh, try to be uh, how to say it, uh, uh, cooperative, uh, try to be uh, 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 unselfish, you know, to help people. And uh, because always, you know, you would reward, you get more reward by, by investing, in, you know, in helping people. And uh, so I think international cooperation is always the, the, the best way to go in international cooperation, in basic research, in basic science, 
uh, always the best investment uh, uh, a society can, can invest on and the young people can gamble on. Of course, I, I'm still uh, doing some research, yeah. Uh, and uh, as I said earlier, uh, I, I learned a lot, a lot when I was a graduate student, a PhD student, uh, when I went to UC San Diego. Because I learned, learned from uh, I learned uh, uh, from the from ground zero, you know, uh, from some of my professors. But now it turns around. It was that uh, now I'm learning from my my, my graduate students. They are, they are teaching me new things. Yeah, and, and and they are my my great teachers. So I want to take the opportunity also to train them. Uh, I mean, today is that uh, in fact uh, the learning and teaching are uh, are both ways, you know. The, the, uh, uh, and the another aspect, uh, of course, you know, uh, since I have been, how to say, uh, more experienced in, 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 in scientific research and education. After I returned to Taiwan, and now today I'm very interested in, in, in education, in astronomy, and, and space science, and then also helping uh, helping for instance helping Asian countries, you know, including uh, China, Taiwan, uh, and uh, other countries uh, work together. Um, the, so we have uh, this. Uh, uh, Society called Asia Oceania Geoscience Society that uh, is a very, uh, I would say, the large scale uh, academic society for Asians. Uh, and uh, even so, you know, uh, the, there are a lot of participation from, from European and, and, and American and NASA uh, in, in this work. So I think that uh, this is also uh, one thing that I have been uh, working on. Uh, I would say, if you would say, what would be my next step? I mean, this is uh, something that I, I think I could contribute uh, with my experience, uh, the, and then to to learn things from my my graduate students and then call them my teachers. Yes, and then the so I think that uh, I have uh, still a lot to do. Mm -hmm.